This is exciting because it was inspired by your recent trip to Malta, which must have been beautiful. Oh, Tracy, it was. It was so wonderful. I was there earlier this fall to see family, which is always amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's so inspiring to travel again, right? Yes. <laughs> it's so inspiring. So just seeing a different landscape and the modern and ancient architecture, the mm -hmm. doors, the tiles, like there's just so much to see. And the walls, like ancient, 100,000 year old stone walls. I mean, yes. it's just something incredible for us. Well, what's so cool is you love the walls so much that you took a picture again in the same spot. Tell us about the story. I did. Okay, so I never forget a wall. I'm not joking. <laughs> so I was standing in Valletta with my cousin and my son and we were waiting to get into a restaurant. And I was like, I have been here before. I have seen this wall. And they're like, Sure, my son, sure, mom, you've seen every wall. I'm like, no, I swear. And I went back in my iPhone and I found 2016 when I was in Malta last. And I was like, lo and behold, there's me standing against that wall that we were staring at. So, of course, we had to recreate the picture yes. and have six years later. But it's so true. Like, there's just something about that that's so memorable for me. I love it. Well, I like the fact that mom was right in this Thank instance. Thank you. She knew that wall. <laughs> the wall which is beautiful and this is also what inspired your set it absolutely did I really wanted to bring the beauty and warmth of that Maltese limestone wall here to our set and of course you know I've got the beautiful colors of the warm limestone beautiful. but then with some gorgeous furniture from Castle Life I was mm -hmm. able to kind of also recreate the the vibe of the landscape there's not a lot of color in Malta okay. it's, <laughs> it's very warm and and wild lots of warm green nice. um, the prickly pears and again mm -hmm. the the warmth I loved how there's a bit of a sheen to this marble table yeah. and then also the metal the metal is very um, sort of warm coppery metal so so very rusty so again there's something very comforting about bringing those memories to our home wherever you travel. So very natural. A lot of the colors, very, very natural. natural color palette. And I love this chair because it swivels. Isn't it great? It's so good. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about recreating that whole idea of a textured wall in our space. There are sort of more permanent things you can do to get that look. There absolutely are. And those permanent textured walls are really in style again right now. Like mm -hmm. I'm seeing them everywhere in magazines, in homes, certainly in Europe, but also in the North American magazines and the Canadian ones, especially. We're seeing a lot of Venetian plaster and lime okay. wash. So I wanted to show some of those. Venetian plaster, it's actually, like this is centuries old. It goes in and out of yeah. trend, obviously, but it's centuries old. And when you put this beautiful, it's like layers, troweled layers of of like a limestone um, putty, mm -hmm. and then you get that polished finish. So it's quite beautiful. Um, lime washes are really big. I've been asked a lot about these lately, and lime washes are also ancient, but feel that, oh, Trace. Oh, yeah. You can feel the texture on this. It's a rough and texture. And it's a matte it's gorgeous. Finish. It's very matte, exactly. Yeah. You can just reapply and reapply and reapply. These are not so DIY friendly, though. Like, yeah. you want to hire, most people would want to hire a professional. In fact, I had these samples made from a decorative artist at Primetime Paint and Paper. Oh, okay. So you want to think about that because they're yeah. permanent. This is a lime wash in a different pigment, just to show you that you can pigmented and have some yeah. other colors as well. But again, you want to think about it before you apply it to your wall because it's very permanent. Okay, so, so let's say we're looking for something a little bit less permanent. What options are there? I have got wallpaper, Tracy. Ooh. Wallpaper. This you is feel that? paintable. Feel that. Oh, paintable. Yeah. Very textured nice. wallpaper. Again, anaglypta wallpaper has been around forever. Yeah. And this is just a really great way to put texture on the wall paint it, mm. make em emphasize the texture even more with the wash, but again, in a few years, if you don't like it, you can take the wallpaper off the wall. Okay, so it's much easier to take the wallpaper off the walls these days. It's not like, right, exactly. back in the days? You did the proper prep on yeah. the wall before. It's much easier than it was 30 years ago. I think I'm into paint because my parents, I thought, were going to get divorced wallpaper <laughs> when I was a kid, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm afraid of it, but I would be scared of it, too, between that and building furniture. Like, I don't know. Is your marriage <laughs> exactly. going to make it? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so finally, the least permanent option, as you say, you like to stick with paint. I like to stick with paint because yeah. I love the look of textured walls in your house, in your house. Yes. But I just don't think, I want to change things more totally. often, so yeah. it's important for me. So I created this look of texture with just flat paint. So nice. let's talk about that. So I've got a base coat. It's actually pretty simple. I'm using three colors. A okay. little time consuming, but a DIYer could do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my first coat on. I always start with a darker color first. Okay. I've got a dry brush. I've got my paint ready to go. I'm using a color called Morel, so it's a nice brown, nice. sort of a warm brown. Oh, don't put like too much paint on. Like a putty color. Like a putty color. It's very yeah. pretty. I'm going to grab this rag. Have a wet rag handy. Okay. And then this is going to look ugly at first, but we're just kind of cross-hatching with a dry, well, I call it a dry brush, like this. So you get this yeah. effect. 
and then do that in an area that you can sort of get at with the rag after and just soften it. See, I'm feeling this is very reminiscent of the mid-90s. You know what, Tracy? Isn't everything right now? Everything is right now. I wish I kept my clothes because it wouldn't cost me so much to buy things for my daughter right now. Right? It's very 90s. I'm, yeah, I'm feeling very reminiscent myself yeah. because I used to do this a lot. And in somehow the 90s. it looks good again. But it's it's also been elevated slightly. It's been elevated and it's the colors. We're not putting yes. reds and greens together. We're putting we're trying to mimic natural stone, which right. is so popular. So yeah. once you've done the first coat, I wanted to bring that golden yellow, and that's going to be my second layer. So again, go crazy with your cross hatching. Lovely. Get your damp rag. Soften it again. It's a lot of work, but it's kind of therapeutic. I surprisingly feel therapy when I wash walls. Okay, all right. There's something about <laughs> Not it. Not everybody does. So we've kind of got that effect, but it, which is kind of cool on its own. But I always like to take the base coat color, add that on as a wash at the end just to kind of soften it and I think yeah. the more layers you can add yeah um, you the sort of get natural. the more natural it looks exactly yeah. and that's where it feels definitely more and again you can put on a lot yeah. and then you can take more of it off but again you can sort of start to see how the layers come through and it feels Lovely. like texture when there's actually no texture there very well done there Sharon I love it and so it just takes a little bit of time beautiful